Hello everyone and welcome back to Trinity Online channel. In today's video, I'm going to answer one of the questions that is often asked. For new players, where do we gather meat that can sell for money? Okay, so I'm going to show you the location as well as very importantly, how do you check if the meat is going to sell or if you're going to make any money out of it. So be sure to watch to the end of this video because it's going to be a very short one and if it helps you, please subscribe to this channel. Help me grow our little channel and we'll see what we can do from there on, all right? So for the first thing we need to do is press M on your map and I've already targeted the location from Calfion City, which is the bottom over here. All you need to do is head north, past the contaminated farm, and then go to this area, which is called the Bernanto Farm, okay? At the Bernanto Farm, you will see this NPC over here, which is right in front over here, all right, the farm owner. And all you need to do is just look opposite him, which is this whole grass patch. As you can see, there are already some balls over there, uh, some over at this stretch. So you'll span all the way from the right end, all the way to the left end, okay, and further deep inside that area itself. So there's a lot for you to gather. Now, to start gathering, all you need to do is equip this butcher knife and you need a weapon as well. Okay, I'll explain why shortly. So I'm going to equip the butcher knife to this slot. I have a weapon. So you want to approach the mob itself or the animal itself, whichever you want to call it, and you want to kill it first. Now, once you kill it, as long as you have the butcher knife in your inventory, you can start gathering, okay? Now, when you gather, you are not going to get really much if you are using normal pets. So, I just want to remind you guys, like, this is only 8 pieces of pork. Now, if I were to launch my pet, okay, which has the hedgehog, and then I'm going to use the special abilities, okay? So, I'm going to feed them all. And then next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to run to one more and I'm going to start killing here again. All right, and I'm going to gather it again by pressing R. So if you're new to the gathering, I also have a gathering guide. All right, you can check it out on my website as well. Links in the video's description. So you can see with the hedgehog, and it's hunger not at empty level. I have eight, which is default, and four more, which is extra, plus this fairy powder, okay? So the hedgehog, not always, but more than 50% of the time, it will proc extra bonus for you. So now that we have all this pot, we have two gathers and we got 20 of it. The next thing to do is to understand the market, okay? So I'm gonna go to the marketplace right now, and I'm gonna type pork, P-O-R-K, and I'm gonna press enter, and Pork, at this point, you will see that there is no stock. So we click in and we click in one more time. We see that within this one month under this button is at a rather high status. Currently, it has 27 orders. And in three months, for the past three months, it has stayed on top value. So if you look at this number at three months, it's always on top. It's time to sell whatever you're holding because it's unlikely going to go up anymore, any further, anytime soon. So if you have a large amount of pork, you may want to make maybe consider selling. I'm not saying that this is the best advice, but I'm saying that you could consider selling because it's one of the highest pricing right now. Now, going back here, I'm going to right now type pig's blood. Okay, pig's blood. So pig's blood, you realize that in stock is also zero. And we want to look at the three month pricing is also pretty good. And there is a lot of demand for pig's blood over here. 7,000 of them, meaning to say whatever you're gonna, gonna gather right now, you're gonna sell it very fast. So to get pig's blood, all you need to do is equip the fluid collector, which is this item over here. Find another ball, which is over here, kill it and start gathering, okay? Once you have the fluid collector, you will be gathering pig's blood, all right? So I'm just gonna show you guys the result in a while. So you can see from this window, I'm actually getting six pig's blood by default and three more extra because of the hedgehog pet, which I've already fed, so it's not hungry. And I got a sharp black crystal as a bonus as well as a fairy's powder. So this two will definitely sell. What about the third item that you can get from pork, okay? From uh, the ball itself, not pork, okay, which is pig's hide. So 
Pig's high, unfortunately, there's 500 over in stock right now. And you can see that for the past three months, the pricing has been decreasing. So now you got two ways to deal with this. Okay, this may not be a good advice, but you can consider and try it out on your own. And all this advice depends on the economy. I'm talking about the Southeast Asia economy on PC and Steam platform. So you could actually continue to monitor and track this value if it goes until all the way that is really really low you could buy some and keep them for future investment in case an event comes in and then the price goes high and you sell it and you get some returns okay but all this method are long-term investment depending on the market and the people playing the market right now it may or may not work for you so it really depends if you're on the na market eu market or other console platform this works differently um, for the sea market this method does work a little bit but you have to be very attentive to the market the research you need to spend time on it then you can make money through profits and return plus the fact that you need to boost up the market sometimes as well so over all this the cost of all this i hope this video has helped you guys and have given you guys some useful tips and advice so go ahead and start gathering pork supply the economy make life easier for people and don't forget to subscribe to this video if you need any more guides or you need to find out any more things feel free to comment on the comment section if you have any other places that is good for gathering pork as well feel free to comment on the comment section if your comments are useful for the community i'll be sure to add it to the video description as well once again thank you for watching this short video i hope i haven't taken up too much of your time hope that you can like and subscribe to this channel as well bye bye